Hi, my name's Martin. I'm one of the educators for the anaesthetic technicians here at Auckland Hospital. We've made this video to try and show ODPs what it would be like to work here as anaesthetic technicians. First of all, we're going to have a look around the department and then we're going to have a chat to some of the ODPs who've made the move themselves. So this is Theatre 1. We do neurosurgery in here. It probably looks the same as any other operating theatre that you used to back in the UK. One difference, however, here is that we don't tend to use anaesthetic rooms. Uh, the patient will come, come through on their bed, uh, they'll wriggle across onto the operating table, we'll get the monitoring on and get them off to sleep here. So as far as the role of the anaesthetic technician is concerned, it's basically the same as what you would be doing in the UK. The patient comes in, we'll be, we'll be putting the monitoring on, you'll be assisting with the induction and the airway management. Um, in neurosurgery here, we're quite often putting arterial lines and CVP lines in so you'll be assisting with those as well. Once the case is underway, you'll be assisting with whatever the anaesthetic team is doing. Uh, so we'll be taking lots of blood tests, blood gases, etc. Uh, and you may even have time for a cuppa. You'll be pleased to know that we've got the best coffee shop in Auckland here. Because we're here as anaesthetic assistants, we won't be here to scrub or circulate, but we are expected to help out with what the rest of the team is doing. Now you may be wondering why we're called anaesthetic technicians. Uh, it's a historical thing, uh, but don't worry, nobody's going to ask you to service the ventilator. You can see that we've got Datex Estiva anaesthetic machines here. One of the major differences between working in New Zealand and the UK is that in New Zealand we do a very, very detailed anaesthetic machine check at the start of each day. Uh, this takes about 20 minutes to complete just that. Uh, the machine check's laid down by our, by our professional body, uh, NZATS, uh, if you want to see more about the machine check, you can look on their website. When you first see the machine check, you'll be horrified. It'll look huge and you'll wonder how you ever learn it, but don't worry, it's going to be my job to teach you that. So because of the kind of work that we do on this floor, we do a lot of, a lot of blood testing and we do a lot of blood gases. And we've got our own blood gas machine here. Some of the blood testing which the anaesthetic get, technicians get involved in are uh, TEG tests, which stands for thromboelastograph. Uh, these can give us some really good information on the patient's clotting during surgery. So we've got a couple of these cell saver machines here. Uh, we use these quite frequently for major cases. Uh, all the anaesthetic techs here are, are trained to use the cell savers. So Tracy, how long have you been in New Zealand? It'll be a year next month. All right. And how are you finding it so far? We love it, absolutely love it. Great, yeah. great. When we spoke to the hospital, as in here, um, it was quite, uh, quite easy and people were welcoming and uh, quite helpful with ideas and information about moving over to New Zealand and especially coming to Auckland. I've always said that we'd actually love it here, so we took the punt on New Zealand just to have everything that we enjoy doing on our doorstep. So that was it, we just up sticks and went. Um, the culture, everybody has been so friendly compared to what they're like in the UK. Um, even people that live around us, we were brought cakes when we arrived, which really surprised us. Um, the scenery, we walk on the beach every day, everything. There's a whole welcoming pack and uh, a process to, to go through that makes it fairly easy to slip into the system of how things are done in this department. Working day, you still have the same content of um, difficult cases and patient contact, but it's not so hustly bustly and so stressful. There's they knew that I were having problems initially because of my daughter, um, and they were very supportive through that, even though I'd only just started here, whereas in the UK I think they'd have been a bit uh, not so good with you just starting. <laughs> good fishing, good weather, good lifestyle. Um, and house prices, funny enough, did play a part because we had certain aspirations of what we wanted to buy in the new country we went to. I probably have started to learn more about my Scottish background since coming out here, having not realised there were so many Scots out here. Like the work-life balance is different in the fact that we can actually go out and do things that we like rather than going on holiday to do them. It's on our doorstep. You can actually drive sort of 20 minutes out of Auckland and you are in the middle of some amazing landscape and countryside. It's pretty and there's always a beach nearby wherever you are. <laughs> a lot more laid back. <laughs> uh, 
definitely more chilled and everything is very much family orientated and enjoying the outdoors. Um, I've really got into my kayak fishing, which is something you just couldn't do in the UK because it's too bloody cold. <laughs> um, kayak fishing, which um, we started do doing a lot more rambling, walking around, a lot more camping because they have uh, Department of Conservation campsites, which are in, in some amazing places, in forests and on beaches on a more regular basis, whereas the UK, if we wanted to go skiing, we had to go on holiday. Whereas here, obviously we've got the indoor and we've also got the mountains. So it's, we haven't done anything different, it's just we've done it more often. There's, there's so much to see and do, and uh, as has had been said before, with leisure time, you, you know, there's always another new beach to explore or another new place to visit. Yeah. In England, you seem to be just working to pay the bills. Whereas here you actually do look forward to your days off because there is always something to do.